Hello and welcome. So in the previous video, I tried to set up an ion chromatograph and struggle with the data acquisition software. So I finally got the instrument to communicate with the computer just in time to realize my uh, suppressor was crap. And after a new one and many different uh, concentration of mobile phase, I was finally ready for calibration. And with the first chromatogram, I realized that the steel water I've been using had about 6 ppm of chloride and nitrate in it. So pretty good for my backyard, but useless for my chemistry analytical project here. So uh, back when I was running uh, an ion on IC, at my previous lab, we used extra pure DI water. So thanks to uh, Patreon, I was able to invest in this uh, reverse osmosis deionized water setup, which works pretty well. And I can't believe anybody's drinking this shit, but uh, forced me to redo all of my standard and blanks for accurate and interference-free analysis. Each peaks are identified by their retention time. So I've injected pure chemicals at low concentration to determine which peaks belong to which anion. With that done, I ran a calibration with one, five, and 10 ppm and a blank. And finally, after all these distractions out of the way, here are my first results. So yes, there is fluoride in tap water, at least in the Midwest, but the filter remove half of it, along with chloride, sulfate, bromide, nitrate, etc. I've also tried bottled water and they fare much better, except for uh, sulfate. So if I wanted to avoid fluoride, I know what I would choose. The salami was digested in DI water and tumbled overnight. And the uh, result were somewhat surprising. Because of salt, large amount of chloride were expected, but I had to do a hundred dilution for nitrate, nitrite, and in retrospect, this might have been too much. But it's there though. Now I did not want it to overwhelm a detector with chloride with iodide and salt. So I extracted with acetone, evaporated, and redissolved it in the uh, water. And there it is. 10 grams of salt yield a few ppm of iodide. Now this project was a challenge, but I'm pleasantly surprised with this used equipment. Who knew I could detect PPB level of fluoride, a low PPM concentration of everything else. Now I'm still working on the cation side of this analytical venture, but please understand that these things take times and money, but rest assured I will make it happen and share my results here. In the meantime, I've also been working on this gas chromatograph, which show promising results. So so far. So stay tuned for more somewhat interesting analysis. Check out my other videos. Thanks again to my Patreon. Constructive criticism is always welcome. If you have any ideas of what I should be analyzing, please let me know in the comment. Rate, subscribe if you want, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.